ready to transform your room into a colorful explosion of fun, here's how to do a complete room makeover with 10 awesome DIY room decor projects. like to lay around the floor of my apartment. <laughs> but let's be honest, it isn't always the most comfortable experience. So I decided to make the world's biggest pillow ever. Are you ready for that? Let's do it! Take a very large blanket. This one is so soft and I love the variety of happy colors on it. Place it on a flat surface and fold it in half. Grab a glue gun and glue together the longest tie. You can even sew the edge with some thread and a needle or use fabric glue. Stick the top layer down while the glue is still hot and wait for a minute or two to cool down and seal the two fabric layers together. Do the same on one of the shorter sides. This is perfect! We're gonna leave the other short side open for now because this will be the entrance for huge amounts of pillow stuffing. Take some older pillows and carefully cut them open. Grab the fluffy stuffing and put it inside your DIY giant pillow. You can even buy only pillow stuffing online or in a store, it's even more affordable. But I had some old pillows that I didn't need so I decided to use those. Continue throwing in more and more pillow stuffing until you reach the desired size. I want my pillow to be extra soft and squishy which requires quite a generous amount of stuffing. When you're happy with your ginormous pillow, glue the side with some hot glue. Ta-da! This is so comfy! You can totally stop here, I mean it already looks so pretty, but I decided to use this lovely pom-pom garland to decorate the pillow edges. To make this fast and neat, use a glue gun and your pillow is finished and looking pretty. What an epic DIY project! You can use your pillow at home or have it on the balcony or in the garden. This is literally so comfy and I feel like I could lay here in the sun forever. It is also perfect if you have sleepovers with your friends or movie nights. This giant pillow really gives such a cozy and cool vibe to any room. I'm already planning to make an even bigger pillow using two blankets. That would be insane. Without a doubt this giant pillow will bring so much joy so grab an old blanket and have a ton of fun crafting. Who loves plain white walls? Not me! So I'm always on the hunt to find new and pretty wall decor ideas. And let me just say, this is hands down the most gorgeous wall decor I've ever created. We all know my obsession with pom-poms. It's serious, but it's also an endless spring of creativity, so I'm willing to cope with it. Grab a white piece of thicker paper or cardboard and cut out any shape that you like, like a heart, a star or your initials. So I cut out a big S for Superman, <laughs> no, for Sarah. Take a glue gun and apply a little blob of glue on the paper. Choose your first little pom-pom, mine is green, and stick it on top of that glue while it's still hot. Continue adding pom-poms to your wall masterpiece. Pink, yellow and a ton of other colors to make it extra interesting and bold. For a super neat result, try to keep the spacing between your pom-poms minimal and trace the paper edges as precisely as you can. After a while you will end up with the most stunning wall art ever. I love the texture and everything about this DIY. It is so unique and gives a gorgeous pop of color to any room. You can buy the colorful pom-poms online for very inexpensive. You get a ton and you can use them for so many DIY projects. <laughs> what can I say? The pom -pom obsession is still here and stronger than ever. <laughs> Could this chair be even more boring? No, I don't think so. We have to do something about it. Oh yeah, I have an idea. This chair is about to get a complete makeover. Take some pink acrylic paint or any other color of your choice and color the legs of the chair. I chose pink because as you know my room is blue and pink so this will fit perfectly with the furniture. That's exactly why I love DIYing so much. You can choose the colors, the materials and finishes that you like and make unique pieces for your room. Okay, the chair legs are all colored, so let's leave them to try. 
Now take a piece of fake fur material. I wish you could feel how soft this is. Cut out a circle which is slightly bigger than the chair seat. Flip it upside down and make 4 short cuts where the chair legs are. Place the chair on the furry circle like this. Grab a glue gun and apply a small blob of glue on the seat edge. Fold the fabric up to stick it on the chair. Do this all around the edge of the seat and check out this epicness. Can you believe the transformation that we just made? I'm so satisfied with the result. From the cheapest and most boring chair we've created the prettiest and coziest chair ever. You can even use it as a nightstand or a decoration piece and place on a flower pot, picture frame or something like that. Because of the furry seat, this chair became super comfy as well. Bingo! Have you ever seen any cuter plants? Because I haven't. These two grass pots are so cool and adorable. They instantly put me in a better mood when I see them. Come on, I'll show you how to make them from scratch. Take a rounded pot or vase like this one. I'm using yellow so they will kind of look like emojis, but just pick any color you like. Take a pencil and sketch the face of your emoji. I went for a super smiley one with a tongue sticking out. Now take a black permanent marker and trace the lines. If you're a super talented freehand drawer, you can skip the sketching part. Be my guess. I'm definitely not good enough for that, especially with the rounded surface of the pot. Next, take a red permanent marker and color the tongue. Oh, I love this happy face. Isn't it so funny and cute? I made another emoji with a bit different eye shape and a gorgeous happy smile. Now that our pots are ready, let's sew the grass seat. Grab a bit of cotton wool and put it on the bottom of the pot. Take some grass seeds and pop them in as well. You can allocate them evenly all over the cotton. Pop a bit of cotton wool on top of it as well. To make the seeds grow, we need to water them. The top layer of cotton will protect the seeds and keep them moist. In about 2 days you will already see little grass peeking out. And 3 to 5 days later your emoji will have an awesome hairstyle already. Whoa, these two are just so adorable, I can't handle it. They give such a nice pop of color to any room and will brighten up your day whenever you see them. You can make different hairstyles, you can cut their hair and in a day or two the grass will grow back up. Make lots of different emoji grass pots and see whose hair grows the fastest. There's so much fun, a decoration and an epic toy at the same time. Picture frames are the perfect decoration for your room or desk. Not only can they be gorgeous, but if they carry a meaningful photo of a memory or beloved person, they become even more special. Go outside and find a bunch of stones. Let's color them up. For the first one, I'm choosing red acrylic paint. Use a paintbrush to color the entire stone in red. I love how opaque these acrylic paints are. One coat is more than enough. Such a time saver. I colored a bunch of stones in blue, green, yellow and pink, which is the first one to receive a monster makeover. Apply a drop of super glue on the stone and place a googly eye on top. This will be a one-eyed monster with spiky teeth. Draw the teeth in a shape of triangles using a black permanent marker. Dip a tiny paintbrush in white acrylic paint and color the inside of the teeth. I like to leave some of that black border visible. How adorable is this body, right? I also made some smiley monsters with two eyes, different colors and so on. Make each of them a bit different. Just like we people are, everyone so different and so special. Here's our monster squad all done. Just two words, cuteness overload. I love them so much. Take a plain picture frame. I like the color of this one, otherwise it's pretty boring, so let's change that. Use a glue gun and stick the stone monsters on the frame. You can place them all around or just in the corners as I did. Whatever you do, your picture frame will turn out stunning, guaranteed. I am so impressed and happy with mine. You can use it to display a photo close to your heart. I just placed a random school bag picture in the frame for now. <laughs> 
Still looks very cute though. The monster stones can also be used for other DIY projects. You can for example stick a magnet on the back and use it as a fridge magnet or a post-it notes holder. Be creative and without a doubt you'll have a ton of fun decorating. Ever since I was little, I always wished I could walk on clouds. People told me that this is not possible, but I'm here to prove them wrong. We're making the most adorable fluffy cloud rugs. Grab a fake furry material or a piece of a carpet. This one is so soft and cozy and I got it for super inexpensive, just about 7 bucks. Place the rug on a flat surface with the front facing down. Sketch the cloud shape using a pencil. I want mine to be big and puffy. That's perfect. Take your X-Acto knife and carefully cut the cloud out by tracing the pencil lines. This was surprisingly very easy to do. When you're done, flip the rug around and check out this beauty! I already love it so much, but if you believe it or not, we can make it even more adorable. Use some felt and cut out the eyes and mouth. Stick them on the cloud with some fabric glue or a glue gun. I made heart-shaped hot pink eyes and a big smile because I want the happiest clouds to decorate the floor in my room. This is so freaking stunning, isn't it? Rugs instantly make any space feel more cozy and warm. But this cloud rug is just a whole nother level of epicness and cuteness. It literally transforms any room and gives it that happy, almost fairy taleish vibe. I made one more and even bigger cloud with flushed rosy cheeks. <laughs> Someone please stop me before I make 10 more of these for my entire apartment. I'm just too excited. Walking on clouds has never been easier. Clothespins can work as a great organization piece for your desk. You can buy pretty decorative clothespins in a craft store or use the usual wooden ones and color them yourself. Of course we'll choose the later because we are DIY masters, duh! I'll color my first pin in blue. One or two coats will give you an opaque and neat finish. Now let's create a fun geometric pattern. I'm making wide diagonal lines using a small paintbrush. For some extra pop of color, I decided to add a little yellow dot between the lines. I'm using a dotting tool, but a toothpick will do the job just great. I made four different designs and colors on my clothes pins. The last thing to do is to pop a glue pad on the back of each pin and you're ready to stick it on the wall, the fridge or anywhere else you like. These glue pads won't damage the walls or leave colored stains, which is great. The pins look very pretty, but they're also very useful. You can use them to hang post-it notes, pictures or even bracelets and necklaces. This is such an inexpensive and easy DIY that you should try for sure. This glass succulent terrarium is so pretty and a perfect decoration for your room or a dining table. It looks so delicate, sophisticated and it reminds me of a beautiful pink sand desert. How cool it would be if such desert actually existed. Prepare a rounded glass bowl and pour in a bit of sand. I went for pink decorative sand, but you can take some sand from the seaside next time you're on vacation. You don't need too much of it, that's right enough for me. Now take some artificial succulents and stick them into the sand. I have a bunch of different ones that I got online. Some are taller, some more rounder, but all in all, they look like a lovely little squad together. Here comes my last blue cactus and voila, we're done! This turned out so beautiful and it took us like, what, two minutes? Such a gorgeous decoration you can put anywhere in the apartment. Bedroom, living room or bathroom as well. You can even make this as a gorgeous gift for someone you love. And if you want to be fancy, use real succulents. But good luck with that, I'm just gonna stick with my fake ones. Welcome home, little plant I'm gonna take such good care of you. Mm, I think you need some water. Mm, yeah, you do. possible but I just can't seem to keep a plant alive. Luckily we can replace a real plant with a cacti made out of stones. <laughs> yes it sounds weird but the result is stunning. Take a bigger oval stone and paint it green. I'm using acrylic paint and a paintbrush but the spray paint would make the job even easier and faster.
just a couple of swipes more and my stone has turned into a cactus. <laughs> well, not quite yet, but with a few touches, we're gonna make it look spot on. Dip a smaller paintbrush into a dark green paint and make thin stripes to represent cactus rib. This will make it much more realistic. Lastly, draw a bunch of spikes in a shape of little white stars on top of the dark green lines. The spikes give so much detail and dimension, I love it! I don't want this cactus to be poor and lonely, so let's quickly make a little friend. Color a smaller oval stone in dark green. going for a different cactus species this time. This one has small white dots all over. To make the perfect dots, the easiest way is to use a nail art dotting tool or a toothpick. Alright, it's time to assemble both of our cacti in a plant pot. I chose this beautiful pink one. Since the pot is quite deep, place in a bowl of inexpensive clay or play-doh to fill up the bottom. Press it down to distribute it evenly and to fill all the sides and edges. Grab the bigger stone cactus and press it down in the clay. This will create a dent in the clay, holding the stone up, which is exactly what we want. Do the same with the smaller one. They look so cute together. Grab some decorating sand and pour it on top of the clay to hide it. I love this shade of blue. It looks so nice combined with the pink and the green. Lastly, I decided to stick a little fake flower on top of the bigger cactus. It's like a cherry on top. I feel like the flower ties everything together and makes the whole cacti pot even more adorable. This is such a gorgeous decoration for any room, but also for a balcony or a garden. You can always tone it down with a neutral colored plant pot and white sand. <laughs> but you know me, the brighter, the better. I'm so happy with this cutie and the best part is that you don't have to do absolutely anything to keep this plant alive. And that's exactly what I needed. Last but not least, let's make these cute desk organizers that are so pretty and very handy as well. You can store in sweets, paper clips, pins or other bits and pieces that usually lay around your desk and drawers. Grab a jar in any size of your choice and a plastic animal. I went for the giraffe. Take the lid off the jar and it's time to stick our giraffe on it. To do this you can use super glue or a glue gun. Just make sure it holds really well. Ok, this cutie is attached safely to the lid, so let's go grab a spray paint. All these colors are gorgeous, but I'm gonna pick the blue one. I'm so predictable, right? Carefully spray your creation until it is completely covered and opaque. You'll get the best result if you make several thin coats instead of spraying loads of paint at once. And if you don't have the spray, just go for usual acrylic paint. It will work perfectly too. Here we go, the jar looks gorgeous, so let's fill it up with lots of yummy candy. Mmm, nom nom nom. I also made a pink elephant jar because we don't want our giraffe to be lonely. Everyone needs a friend in their life, right? And together they look even more adorable. I filled the elephant jar with a ton of colorful gumballs. Oh yes, extra pretty and super yummy. Because DIY room decor can be cozy, colorful, happy and nonetheless tasty. One more thing, make sure to subscribe here and my second channel because we're gonna have an amazing summer here and you don't wanna miss out. Okay, love you guys, Mwah. bye!